Happy Independence Day to one and all. This is Priya Menon from Maid Academy. Highest education is that which does not merely gives us information, but makes our life in harmony with all its existence. This is what great Rabindranath Tagore meant about the purpose of true education. Today I am going to talk about independent education and independent learning. The real question is, are we truly independent? Do we know the true meaning of education? Because there is difference between being literate and being educated. Because education has a lot more meaning to it. It's not just having degrees or qualifications. There are many more things like to know the importance of social values, to know about virtues like trust, compassion, empathy, love. And on top of that, you need to have various life skills. to call yourself as an educated individual. So today we will be talking that when do we call education independent or what exactly do you mean by independent education? Independent education is education when a good education system is built up which prepares the students with various qualities like creativity and skills, with decision making skills, with time management skills and many more. It's like what is happening nowadays is that all these changes are there in the paper. Like reforms are done on education policies. But the thing is, it has, to ref it has to be reflected in the results or in the outcomes of the students. Like importance of mental health, environmental cleanliness, then hygiene, everything is being included in our educational syllabus and all. But how many of institution is taking these reforms important and actually implementing in these institutions a very few okay so i'll call education independent when all these outcomes will be uh, will start getting reflected when each and every student of any educational institute would come out of the institution with degrees qualification and all these life skills together Second point when I'll call the education independent, when the student is able to choose their own subject of interest and their career. Because this makes the learning process stress free. When education becomes stress free, then and there itself we can call that education is independent like the student loves the subject student likes the subject and accordingly he or she will be able to take up a good career but is that what is happening no because most of the people who are taking a different uh, uh, career options different subject options on pressure like on uh, pressurization from their parents from their uh, society because in India education is attained just for livelihood just for money because we need to understand that education is not about learning learning about life Education is life itself. The day, we, the day when we 
unlearn the fact that education is something that is attained for making money in future the day we and we unlearn that we'll attain the actual purpose of education the day when we understand that education is life itself it is the difference between a man and a human being will eventually will start gaining education in its actual terms so now how to train your children to take proper decisions whether it is career choice whether it is subject choice and different life how do we train them that is where the concept of independent learning comes into role okay this is something that has to be inculcated right at the beginning right at the beginning like uh, let me take a small example like as your children comes back from school we like parents what they do they check their bag they check their notes have uh, he or she has written the notes properly and uh, if they have got any test papers we'll sit and analyze the test paper and we'll tell them that uh, this is the mistake you have made now all these things which are there this has to be done by the child like we should give them a chance for self analysis we shouldn't make a study time table for them because we don't know their comfortable timing or when do their uh, brain works what is the time comfortable for them and because every child has their own pace of study okay so what is happening the children are somehow subconsciously becoming habitual to this they know they automatically know even if i don't do the parents will eventually come and tell me you have to do this they will point out the mistakes anyhow so i don't have to do the hard work but trust me the day when you will ask them to analyze your mistake you tell me what is the mistake you made or what was the reason of this mistake or uh, Uh, why didn't you do your homework or was any homework given to you you can question your children like did you do all these things you should never pressurize them to do this thing at a particular time so what happens when we give them chance to self analyze to understand their own like you will see changes in it this is independent learning like you will see the difference in the outcomes the time when you were forcing your children to study for 2 hours or a particular time and the changes you will see when they will be studying at their own pace when they'll start taking decisions on their own in terms of which subject has to be studied before how much hour should i invest in what subject you will see the results will become better so these small small things will eventually make them self dependent okay so don't you think that eventually they'll become such self, uh, such an individual who will be confident enough to take decisions for their life because by that time they know themselves like what they are capable of what are their weakness what are their strength by that time they are aware of themselves and trust me they will take a good proper decision so that is where we need to understand that freedom comes with responsibility okay here we need to understand that the meaning of freedom given to children is different for parents it's like they'll give all kinds of facilities to them 
okay, uh, like the good electronic devices, good uh, study space, good books, and everything. But somewhere we also need to teach the students about virtues like a trust, compassion, empathy, the, uh, the, the things which I mentioned before. Because that is when your child will become educated. Being a teacher, what I have observed is, I have seen many, uh, like different type of students, like there are students who attain very good marks, but somehow in behavior or as an individual, somewhere they lack social values, moral values, good behavior and somehow parents are not bothered about it. Trust me, I have observed this. This is not I am saying out of the way just for the sake of it or for the content of for the, the talk. Parents are only considered about the result, about the marks in their mark sheet. But are you observing your child as an individual? How he or she is? So, all these things have small, have impacts on attaining independent education. And that can be attained via independent learning. So I would like to end this talk by saying that education means independence and independence means liberty. So on this day, let's promise ourselves that from today that we will be attaining the actual purpose of education. We will be an educated individual rather than just being literate. Thank you, thank you so much.